A mayor caught on camera in a brawl with citizens at a local restaurant, including the man who filed a petition to recall her as the mayor. The family says when they called 911, no one showed up. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell brings us more in this exclusive story. A fight breaking out at a Mabton restaurant between Mabton Mayor Rachel Ruelas, her son and her husband, and Ruben Olivares and his wife, lasting for several minutes and continuing out into the parking lot. Olivares and his wife ending up at the ER at Prosser Memorial Hospital. Olivares with an abrasion on his knee, strained ankle and bruising, and his wife with a scrape to her arm. Both filing petitions for restraining orders against Ruelas and her family Friday morning. Court records show Ruelas also filing a petition for a protection order against Olivares, but those documents not yet available. Olivares's grandson, Ruben Olivares Fernandez, says his grandma sent him the video shortly after the fight, but when he called 911 on their behalf, no one showed up. My grandparents were assaulted, and I believe that the cops should have came onto duty and taken the report first. His first call to 911 made at 6.20 p.m., calling again 40 minutes later. To follow up if um, sheriffs were being dispatched, being that Madison didn't have any cops on duty. I reached out to Yakima County Sheriff's Office officials who confirmed dispatchers received two calls about an assault at South and Main, where that restaurant is located, one from Olivares Fernandez and one from the mayor herself, but informed me the case belonged to Mabton PD. Olivares Fernandez says he was told since it wasn't an active scene and both parties were separated, there was no reason for deputies to be dispatched. I questioned the, the detective on if I call 911, what's the purpose of me even calling them if they're not going to send any help? Um, at that point, they said, well, if I think they're not doing the job properly or if Mapton Police is not doing the job properly, that I can call the, the City Hall of Mapton and make a complaint. Well, if I make that complaint, it goes to the mayor. He says dispatchers also told him they'd alerted the on-call Mapton Police officer, the department's only officer at this time, Ryan Sullivan, about the situation and that he'd been in contact with the mayor and would take care of it when he got on duty the next day. They told me that the Mapton officer had also contacted my grandparents, which that wasn't true because I had my phone and their phones as well. And I looked at the call log and they didn't have any missed phone calls. Officer Sullivan says he did try to reach out to them. I was given a number provided by dispatch. So it was whatever the, uh, whatever phone number that Ruben's family called 911 on. And I made multiple attempts to call that phone number and whatever. Uh, responded. Sullivan says the mayor talked to him about the situation, calling him on his work cell after the fight. Can you discuss at all what she told you? Uh, I cannot. Um, anything that was said will be on my report uh, in the future, though. He got the call from the sheriff's office dispatchers shortly after. Uh, they just said that an ass uh, it was an uh, assault had occurred at a restaurant that I know the name of and that it wasn't ongoing at that time, but it had happened earlier. Just, and I, I told them, yeah, I, I was aware of, the si of somewhat of the situation at that point. Sullivan says when an officer is on call but not on duty, they evaluate the emergency of calls on a case-by-case -case basis to determine if they need to respond immediately. Depending on what we hear from dispatch, we can determine, okay, we need to get there now, or let me give some people some phone calls and see if uh, this can be, if it's non-emergency, like if it's not, you know, an active assault going on at that time, a lot of the time we won't show up. In this case? Just based off the information I had at the time, it wasn't an active assault that was occurring at that time, but it's under investigation currently, and uh, I will not only be taking this investigation um, to a certain point, but I'll also be forwarding parts of it to the Yakima County Sheriff's Office for, for their assistance on it as well. I tried to reach Ruelas for comment by calling Mabton City Hall. I was calling to see if I could speak to Mayor Rachel Ruelas. They told me she wasn't there. Is she not coming into the office at all today? They told me they'd pass on a message. I also tried to reach her on her cell, but it went straight to voicemail. Hi, Rachel. This is Emily Goodell with Apple Valley News Now. I was wondering if you might give me a call back. There's a matter of an incident last night that I wanted to discuss with you. Olivares previously filed a petition to recall Ruelas as mayor. She filed an appeal with the state Supreme Court earlier this week. In Mabton, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Emily headed to Mabton tomorrow for the city's budget retreat. We'll have that story next week.